Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. We're going to look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. And this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, Friday, October 29, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And as you can see, this has been a really dramatic day on the, uh, not just uh, for the cryptocurrency, but for the market as a whole. Most of the market is down significantly. Um, and this is mainly due to the coronavirus and also that there's no stimulus going to, um, to be um, passed the US Congress before the United States election. However, that has little to do with basically cryptocurrency market. Uh, the main reason why we have fallen today is because we were um, significantly overbought and we were expecting a significant pullback. This not, may not be the, um, the last we see of this pullback. Um, if you look at, um, at um, RSI, we are at 70 at the moment. We were all the way up to 80. We were significantly uh, overbought and therefore we have a pullback. So this is completely normal. The question is how far we will go. So we'll find, if we write it up here, we'll find some support uh, here within this area so this is around 12,000 uh, so with that should be um, supported a supportive area we'll see the 50 moving average traveling up this way so when this fall down we'll probably intercept the 50 moving average at the same time so the 50 moving average will uh, be additional support and that is basically our uh, entry to this market if you want to go and buy this market so we have been on a significant bullish run we have um, trend line here which also will act as a support so as you can see there is a lot of support under here we had 12,000 or this area here and then we had the 50 moving average coming up this way and then we also have this trend line the matter of fact is that we are very overextended and this um, market needs to uh, come down before we go higher it is not a good idea to buy here the best idea is basically to wait for this market to pull back and then buy into this market if you look at the other technical indicators we can see that the macd is about to turn around it will most likely cross the signal line in line tomorrow or um, on monday and we can see that the stochastic has turned around the cci is looking very bearish at this point and also the rsi is uh, turning around we are at 71 at this point so we are still overbought and we'll probably go all the way down towards around 30 or 40 something like that before we turn around in this market no interest basically of buying this is basically just buying the dips and we're waiting for uh, a significant dip in this market in order to go higher so we'll probably see something similar to to this pull back towards uh, the 50 or the not or the trend line and then we will go higher in this market so if you look at drum we can see that we have also pulled back uh, quite uh, significantly around four or five percent today uh, so but we are still trading above the 50 moving average and as long as that is the case there is no reason to be nervous that this market will break significantly. Even though we break uh, the 50 moving average, there is quite a lot of support underneath the 50 moving average. We can see that we tested this area here around 320 to 340 uh, several times. And, and subsequently, we have the 200 moving average right underneath. Um, we are in uptrend this has been quite volatile in, in this area here uh, from uh, mid-february to to uh, august was a quite uh, quite nice uptrend but since then it has been very volatile we basically shot up in the air in august all the way to october we got way 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 overbought here collapsed and now we're trading technically sideways but we are trading above the 50 moving average there's quite a lot of support underneath. So if we have a bounce from the 50 moving average, that is quite a clear sign that we can enter this market with a buy. 
However, we need to break the top of these candlesticks here in order to go to, to 442 and then to these highs of 484. Um, after that, we will go significantly higher. The next real um, support is all the way down here. So, so this is a market that is an uptrend. We also have a trend line here that is that is going to act as support. So you can see that we have, first of all, the 50 moving average trend line, this support area here, and the 200 moving average underneath. So there's a lot of support underneath. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Thank you very much and good luck.